Yeah, second round. I already got my swarm just sitting in the bag. Oh shit, they ain't caught in the water. Huh? So let me go ahead and get in this building. I know they're gonna be coming in here, duck off in the corner. All right, you see my swarm, my, I'm back active. I caught my swarm in. Back shot, next shot, face shot, okay. All right, reload, we back in there. 100 plus for the subs, I can't wait. 100 plus, going ham, Woo. get nasty. I got them set up. I got All I gotta do is just keep smacking. Just keep, ah, mother, fuck, fuck, fuck. Man, let's get to the regular shit. Yeah, man, I have to put that up, man. I, that right there, it, it still frustrates me watching that, dude. But that was a gameplay, you know, I, I already had my Swarm Dogs, I already had that in the first round. I saved my Swarm for the second round just to get active. And as y'all see, I picked up my low Star and I, I couldn't get the 100 plus, man. It's, it's, I don't know, it just seemed like, I don't know, in that situation, I could have ran outside. But if y'all, I don't know if y'all really watched it in depth, but on that clip right there, they had just called in a Warthog and they called in an SR-71, so... You know, I was, I was, I was just, I called in my swarm, so I was cool. I knew they'd come running in that building, but I did not expect that RPG. Oh man, <sighs> that's what it's up. What's up, y'all? Though, it's your boy Rock. You see what it is? We back. You know, with some more of that rock and chop action. Why do they call me rock and chop? Because I rock them choppers. You already know. You see what I got? I'm rocking this Scar H right here, and I went ahead and switched it up. Uh, you know, y'all know this is one of my favorite assault rifles, even though I said the FAL is my favorite right now, as y'all saw in that last clip, but, you know, with this one, I just feel a little more versatile, you know, um, but, back, let's get to this gameplay, you see my kill streaks right here, I'm using low star dogs and the swarm, and usually when I throw this on, it's usually because the lobby I'm in, the dudes, I won't say they, because usually, uh, a lot of the lobbies, it won't be great players in there, but it's always that, and one or two motherfuckers. You, I know what y'all know what I'm talking about. So one or two motherfuckers, and they probably just as good as you. That's what that's what I look at it as. You know, I don't feel like anybody on this game is better than me. If anything, that's just the way I look at it. If anything, they about the same, or they weaker than me. That's the only way I look at it because, you know, I just feel like you know certain situations people get luckier than others. Kind of like that right there. Dude was unlucky. He he spawned on the A flag, and I'm already set up. I'm over here looking like. I'm on that map jungle from Black Ops, sitting behind the barrel, just getting the easy kills. But he said, okay, got my low star, I'm about to get it in. You see what it is. So, you know, it's been working out. I actually like this setup, though, because it, it seemed like every time I did use this, always got about 80 to 90 kills. I don't know what's going on. I just can't crack that hundred. And you're going to see on this game why. Now, you see I ran out of bullets right there. I, I really think... This is what hurt me. Look at this shit. I can't even stand this shit. But I gotta use it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if I picked up a scavenger bag right there or what. You know, I, I got my, my dogs and my swarm in, I believe. Or am I working towards my swarm right now? I don't know. But all I know is, man, I was going ham this game. And ah, it's just, you know, it's just another one of them. And I figure, you know, I see a lot of people put up 100 plus fails. But I really feel like I've been getting a lot of 100 plus fails. And, you know, a lot of it really come to what I've noticed is, and just looking at other people's gameplays, because it seemed like I don't play in a party, so I can't really judge my gameplays to other people's gameplays. Because when you play in a party, it's different. People got your back. You know, that's kind of like if you play in a party with me. If I see you running around a corner, and I see it, and you across the map, and I see a dude following you, one, I'm going to tell you inside the mic, yo, turn around. Or two, if I don't got a mic, I'm going to just shoot his ass in the back. Done deal. He's done. Okay, so you see I picked up my low star. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to reload this big fella just in case I got to get get into the action. I'm going to go over here and call this bitch in. But, you know, you always want to pick up. Like, when you get these high kill streaks, you always want to try and get a couple kills. And that's what I was trying to do. And you see they all lighting up bright red in the big box. Ah, oh, man, I can't still. Look at this shit. Look at this shit right here. I Damn, I'm really. Th okay, now I'm looking at it. That's where I fucked up. That's where your boy fucked. I should have just called in my low star, been done with it. But I was trying to get fancy. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. I really think in that situation right there, if I if I had bullets in my scar, which I'm pretty sure I did, I'm pretty sure I picked up a scavenger pack. You know, I could have got it done. But, you know, with and then when you get kill streaks like these, it's kind of you know once you lose them, it's like it, it's disheartening. I'm gonna keep it 100. It's, it's disheartening because you're like, fuck, I gotta get all the way back up to the high kill streaks. You know, that's really why I don't run them that much, because I don't like stressing myself out. But when I when I feel like I'm in a good lobby, you know I'll run it. But, uh, 
Yeah, man, the scar, man. This setup right here has been working out for me. I know I tell y'all a lot, it's my favorite gun. It still is, man. I FAL. It's my favorite, but I, you know, sometimes I get tired of that slow rate of fire. It does put them down quick. You hit them with the two shots, but I like lifting niggas up. <laughs> Usually I don't say nigga on my channel, but you know your boy Rock get it in. It don't matter. But you know, I like lifting niggas up, so, you know, that's what the scar do, man. It, uh, uh, lift them up. And then, of course, I put, because first I was experimenting. I was using, like, uh, look at this dude right here. Nah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. A little disheartening shit. Like, like man, fuck, man. If I could have kept on a nice little street, kept the B flag right there, could have got something done. You know, I called my dogs in, called my lost star, could have re-rolled the kill streaks. But I'm sure I'm going to get one, man. That's why I'm not really too worried about it. And I know for a fact that, one, if I played as much as I used to, I for sure would have got my 100 plus. And two, if I had my old school party, like I said before, if I had, you know, my homeboy, Allen. Man, I, I, I wish my boy Slapside J2Y was on the PS3 like they used to, but it seemed like they pretty much converted over to the Xbox, so, you know, it is what it is. And that's why, you know, I, I came there, I was sitting back really thinking about it, because, you know, like I was saying in my last video, I do want to play in a party sometimes. I like playing solo, though, I really do, especially, like, even on a game like this, even though the dudes on the other team weren't that great, I still put my team on my back. I feel like if I wasn't on my team this game, it probably would have been bad for him. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. My team helped me out a little bit. They was protecting the flags and shit. Right here, I'm in their spine. And see, this is the thing about the assault rifle. And, you know, I be wanting to use lightweight, but, you know, it's like, you might as well use ghost over lightweight. To me, it's a little more beneficial. Um, but I don't know. Last night, I was at my homeboy house, and we was doing the whole split screen. And, and I, was, I was using lightweight with the SMG, man. And, I think I'd actually might have to pull that out. Because, you know, when somebody, like, shooting at you, and you be wanting to jump out the window, but you know if you jump out the window because you already done collected a few shots in your back, that you're going to die. But I was I was getting away from motherfuckers all day yesterday. That shit was crazy. So I might run that. And then I, you know, I noticed, I think I'm about to get back to 6 versus 6 because I think I hindered myself, man. Sitting around playing ground war. And, you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm your boy Rock. I keep it 100. The reason why I play Ground War is to get as many kills as I can. Been hoping I would, you know, get that 100 plus, but it is what it is. It's going to come. So now I'm like, you know, it, it's time to go back to 6 versus 6. And to me, 6 versus 6, I'm going to keep it 100. It seems like it's easier to put your team on your back. So that's what I'm trying to do, man. I'm trying to run 6 versus 6. Probably run some kill confirmed. Because I was on Team Deathmatch all last night at my homeboy house. It, it felt good, though. No, I was dropping a lot of, it seemed like the normal good game on TDM was like a 30 plus, and like a real good game on a 6 vs 6 TDM was like a, a 40 plus, and if you, could, if you could squeeze that 50 out, that's even better. But yeah, man, it's been your boy, Rock. Go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, tap the thumbs up, man. Still 90 kills, getting it in. It's been your boy. All right, y'all. Peace. Operation complete. Nice job, squad.